Hello guys, this is the Polyglot Programmer and today we're going to talk about the new dev snapshot for Go.4.1 Dev 3. Right, and there are a lot of cool new features that the team have been working really, really hard to get to us. And but I'm going to focus on the one really important feature that goes directly into the user experience and developer experience on Godot. And I'm going to show you guys what that feature is. So once you download the new version and you have it on your machine and you open it up and you have this editor right here, right? And you have the, 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 the editor, the editor looks pretty much the same as you, as you would before. And a lot of times you're working on your 3D scene and you want to also work on the script and you're going back and forth between both of them and you wish you could have the script on another screen, right? Like you could have with other engines, you have other code editors and you have your engine and why not, right? And now you can do this with Godot as well. So once you're here in the script tab, you just come in here and click make floating. This is amazing. So now you have another window and you can do whatever you want with this window. You can just dock it over here. You can have both of them on the same side by side. You can work here and here, or you can have your code editor and throw that to another monitor. However, you prefer to work. I love this feature because this goes directly into the developer experience. This is something that I worry about a lot on my day to day. I work a lot with automation and making things better for the developers and making the developing the, um, the developing the software developing life cycle better. And this attacks directly this type of issue. Of course, there are a lot of other uh, really cool features on the Godot uh, new version that's going to come to us with Godot 4.1. Like they work with the known, they worked on the known uh, problem with the look at method. They, they've been improving multi-threading behavior. They've worked on GD extension, which is also going backwards compatible. And there are a lot of cool new features on this new version. But this one specifically is the one that appealed uh, most to myself. And I wanna, I would really love to hear what you guys think on the comments. What are the features? What are the fixes that you guys were waiting the most? What is, are the features that you guys um, are enjoying the most for the ones that are already uh, tried the new editor? Feel free to post that in the comment. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.